corners. We're going to do it a little different. We're going to go one foot. Same thing. Transpose it right there. And it's an inch and a half. So we're going to go over an inch and a half. So this is the piece we That's the leftover. Twelve inches. So same thing. Gonna transpose this onto here. Sharpie's going out. Brand new fucking trick. Alright. Draw it straight down like that. It's an inch and a half, so Remember, we're gonna go an inch and a half over. Just like that. Gonna mark it again with our speed square. And then similar to the outside corner. Gonna do it just like that. So we're gonna cut this. Gonna cut this. These are metal benders. Flip it up like that. Flatten it out. And you can cut it with the tin snips. Do it with the grinder. flatten it out because when you cut it with the grinder there's little burrs that can cut up your finger got our tin snips I'm gonna cut that 45 straight over just like that I'm gonna grab the benders as you can see these are much more involved than the outside corner now remember the 12 inches we need is right here we're gonna bend this tab down and fold it over just like that. But we got this drip edge that's gonna conflict with this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna notch it just a little bit. So we're gonna slide that over. You're gonna see this. I'm gonna bend that over. Now, so it can sit on top of your metal, we're gonna have to cut these off. So what we're gonna do? We show, mommy. We show. Kobe. We're doing some dangerous work. You wanna bring baby sister inside, Kobe? Get that piece off. The reason we can't bend this over it's because it's the hemmed drip edge. It's double sided. So we'll notch that again. Pull out our hammer. Just like that. We hammer that one. Make sure our top is good. And then bam. That's your perfect inside corner. If we want to throw our square on it, perfectly square now same thing once you're done separate that before this whole area right here
You're gonna want to add caulking right there. Fold it over. And then now I like to bend it first and do a dry run and then add the caulking because there's no reason in adding caulking if you messed up your cut. So this is perfectly 12 inches inside corner. So it'll go right here and be able to wrap that edge. That's it guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below.